Than 29 billion robocalls bombarded Americans last year. That was one of them. That amounts to roughly 90 robocalls for every man, woman, and child, with some getting several calls each day. CBS 2's Jeff Bond joins <laughs> us now with more on the effort to stop these darn calls, Jeff, on and our cell phones, too. Yeah, you get calls on your cell phone, right? Yeah. Yes. I got a call earlier today, and I know that you get them on a regular basis. Yes, I don't like it. Drives you nuts, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Me, too. <laughs> well, it can, of course, be a daily problem. And in a rare interview, the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission tells CBS he will crack down now on robocalls. It's not normal to listen to your voicemails and immediately have people yelling at you to stop calling them. I just picked up my cell phone. Going to start. Peter Clark hadn't called anyone. Yet when he checked his phone, he found more than a dozen missed calls with messages like this. I think you have the wrong number, Peter. Hi, you guys need to quit calling my phone. I don't have a credit card. This is ridiculous. It's called spoofing when scammers make it appear as if a robocall to others are coming from your phone, making the actual scammers nearly impossible to track. It's frustrating. There's literally nothing that you can do to prevent yourself from being a, a victim to this spoofing. It's exceptionally complicated. New FCC Chairman Ajit Pai says tackling those scams is a top priority, that robocalls are the agency's number one consumer complaint. There were 2.5 billion of these calls last month alone, up 9% from the year before. This is Susan with Credit Card Relief. You qualify for a 75% savings. And you are entitled to receive a complimentary stay. When asked if the FCC has a deadline for companies to fix the growing problem, Opai said we certainly want them to move as quickly as possible and as aggressively as possible. Some of it is difficult to do because these are highly technical areas. Tim Marvin is with Consumers Union, which two years ago started a campaign to get the government and phone companies to stop robocallers. I think the companies could be doing more. They have made small technological progress. It just isn't enough to, to actually solve the problem. Well, the FCC is now studying a proposal that would allow companies to block numbers they know are unassigned. But of course, that might encourage more spoofing of numbers, the people of actually using those numbers. So, Rick and Pat, bottom line is. I don't think they're going to go away anytime soon, and the only way to maybe to get back at them is just to hang up, which I do once I hear the yeah. verbal call. But there's really no way to 100% insulate yourself from these, it seems. That's really too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks, Jeff. That's a shame.